ಹಾಯ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರುಗುಬೆಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಮೈ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಡಾಟ್ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಾಮ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲಸ್ ಗುರುಗುಬೆಲ್ಲಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗುರುಗುಬೆಲ್ಲಿ ಡಾಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಡಾಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅಪ್ಲೋಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೈ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆನ್ ಫೇಸ್ಬುಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಮೈ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹೀಟ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹೀಟ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನಿಮೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಕೆ ವೆಂಕಟರಮಣ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಇಸ್ ವೆಬ್ಸೈಟ್ ಎಚ್ ಟಿ ಟಿ ಪಿ ಸೊ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಕೋಲನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಲಾಸ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವರ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಬ್ಲಾಗ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೆಬ್ ನೋಟ್ಸ್ ವೆಬ್ ಬ್ಲಾಗ್ ಸ್ಪಾಟ್ಸ್ so you can follow his website today what's the difference between heat and temperature so let's explain now so this is the first i'm asking some questions what is the temperature what is temperature how can you differentiate it from heat how what's the differentiate how you differentiate temperature from he, from heat are heat from temperature whatever it so these both quantities are already introduced in uh, previous lesson that's why let us find now so let us find so first uh, uh, take a tripod stand and place burner take a tripod stand and place burner so this is the burner we placed so next um, take uh, place uh, take a glass beaker on it we have to place the glass beaker on it afterwards fill with water fill with water so we have to fill with water and uh, uh, heat it and uh, heat it so we have to heat it and this water get heated and uh, so the water is heated and uh, then we can uh, take another beaker you know take another beaker with cold water friends here two beakers we have to take this is the beaker in which water is heated you have to keep separately afterwards we have to take the another beaker with cold water another beaker with cold water if you take the beaker with cold water you have to insert laboratory thermometer in cold water so the laboratory thermometer if you insert laboratory thermometer in the cold water what we observe here the cold water and the liquid you know thermometer liquid what liquid is it in thermometer so you know it is very well known that is mercury so the mercury liquid and this cold water both of them are in thermal contact they are in thermal contact after some time it shows the some uh, effect i mean some effect that is the temperature 30 degree centigrade shown here so what happened 30 degree centigrade at 30 degree centigrade this mercury level is steady it is no no, no longer no further increase or decrease no further increase or decrease it will study at 30 degree centigrade that means this mercury in the thermometer and this cold water in thermal thermal equilibrium okay clear so observe the mercury level in it we can observe the mercury level in it so the mercury level is study at 30 degree c so now we now take laboratory thermometer and insert in hot water what happening if it is insert in hot water friends see it is increases wow so the, the mercury level is slowly increases so it is not 30 now so whenever it is placed in the hot water so the thermometer liquid is increases and we can observe the mercury level is study at what at which temperature we can observe oh this is at 30 degree centigrade so the sorry 80 degree centigrade it is uh, uh, study at 80 degree centigrade we can observe so this is 80 that means 
at this point of temperature this then mercury level is steady and uh, you know um, this uh, hot water and this uh, mercury the mercury in the thermometer is at thermal equilibrium at uh, 80 degrees say. 80 degrees C centigrade friends we discuss here two examples I mean two activities what is what is the first activity the first activity is hot water and second activity is cold water in the first case how the, the mercury mercury level is steady or increase in the hot water and the second case how the mercury level is uh, increase or decrease in cold water so we observe friends now we can note these values in our notebooks next we can ask some questions from this activity what's the this activity what change what changes did you notice in the reading of the thermometer i mean mercury level did the mercury level increase or decrease yeah in the first case i mean in hot water it is increases you know in the cold water the mercury level is decreases so this means we know that bodies in contact achieve thermal equilibrium due to transfer of heat energy when you kept the uh, thermometer in hot water you observe that there is a rise in mercury level this happens because heat got transferred from hotter body to colder body i mean mercury in the thermometer you know this is the first case but what happened in the second case you know in the second case similarly in the second case you will observe that the mercury level comes down from its initial level because uh, of the transfer of heat from mercury i mean here mercury uh, is a hot hotter body to water that is cold water so thus we define heat as follows from this activity we can define the heat so what is happened in the first case and what is happened in the second case in this activity we can concluding that so what is heat heat is the form heat is the it is a form of energy in transit in transit it can transfer that flows from a body at high temperature to uh, to a body at lower temperature this is this is very important definition so you know this is very important definition for heat so from this activity we can understand that so the so heat is a form of energy in transit that flows from a body at a high temperature to a body at low temperature okay friends clear so that is the definition of heat now from this activity we can concluding that so some effect so what is the measure of this uh, flow of uh, uh, form of energy so the in this activity we the steadiness of i'm asking so the so um uh, the steadiness of mercury column of the thermometer indicates that flow of heat and heat between the thermometer liquid and water as stopped whenever it is stopped when whenever the the mercury uh, is thermometer liquid is stopped because there is a study whenever it achieves some state that state is nothing but in previous class we discussed thermal equilibrium has been attained so between water and water and thermometer liquid the uh, thermometer reading at thermal equilibrium gives the temperature at a, a at which temperature at which point of uh, temperature i mean at which point the um, mercury level is stopped i mean the both uh, hot water and uh, mercury are cold water and mercury attained the state of equilibrium at that uh, reading the thermal equilibrium gives the temperature that point is nothing but temperature eh? whether it is 80 degree or uh, 30 degree whatever it may be so the that the temperature is the temperature is 80 degree so now we can understand so the the thus temperature is measure of thermal equilibrium measure of thermal equilibrium so if two different system let us uh, explain another concept friends here what is the two different system here a 
is 40 degree centigrade and which is thermal equilibrium with C that is at 40 degree centigrade. In similarly, if another body B is at thermal equilibrium at C that is C at 40 degree and both A and B is individually with thermal contact with C. So, what happening? So, in this case, if two different systems A and B in thermal contact, there are in thermal equilibrium individually with another system, will the system A and B be the thermal equilibrium with each other? What is the question here? You can understand. So, about that system, we can ask the question, what if two different systems A and B in thermal contact? are in thermal equilibrium individually with another system C. Will the system A and B be the thermal equilibrium with each other? So, that is that is the example here if uh, this question we can ask, uh, we can understand from this activity. A is thermal contact with um, C, B is thermal contact with C individually. Then A and B are in thermal contact or in th are, they, are they in thermal equilibrium? Yes, they are in thermal equilibrium. Now, we know that if A is in thermal equilibrium with C, they both uh, have the same temperature 40 degree and both uh, A and C. Similarly, both B and C have 40 degree temperature. Thus, A and B will have the same temperature 40 degree. Thus, that means A and B, A comma B and C are thermal contact. So, how can you understand friends? Suppose A, suppose this is in contact with C and this is contact with C. Both A and B are in individually thermal 40, 40, 40, 40. Now, what happening if A and uh, if A, this is A, A, this is A now and B. So, now B are in thermal contact friends. This B are now thermal contact. This is very important. C, C friends, this is uh, here A, A is with thermal contact with uh, C and B is thermal contact with uh, C. But in this case, both A and B are thermal contact with C at 40 degree centigrade. This is about the thermal equilibrium. Now, so this uh, thermal equilibrium and this concept, I mean, uh, this is the concept of uh, the, um, the thermal equilibrium in both A, B and C bodies. Now, we can introduce, so the from this act activity, we can differentiate temperature is effect and heat is cause. Heat is cause. Because the why, why the mercury is increases or decreases because of heat. That is cause. Whenever it is steady at some point, point of, uh, at, point, at some point, that point is nothing but uh, temperature. That is effect is temperature, friends. Now, that is the difference between, so the difference between here, so the, um, here the next one is, let us explain the SI unit of heat is joule uh, and CGS unit is calorie. What is the SI unit of heat? You know, heat is a energy. Energy means energy units are joules. In CGS system, calories. This is very clear in ninth class. The amount of heat, what is calorie? This is very important definition, friends. This is for one mark better, one mark question. So, the amount of heat required to rise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree C is called calorie. This is very important definition. But how 1 calorie equal to how many joules? This is also very important. Bitten boys. So, 1 calorie equal to 4.18 joules. This is. And the SI unit of temperature. Temperature is Kelvin. Kelvin which is denoted by K. It can also be expressed as degree Celsius, degree centigrade. So, friends, temperature in Kelvin, there is a relation between there is a relation between Kelvin temperature and degree centigrade. So this is uh, important bit, boy. So the important bits, friends. Temperature in Kelvin equal to 273 plus temperature in degree C. So this is very important. So now we differentiate uh, temperature from heat or heat from temperature. Heat is a form of energy which is which is affecting some other quantity that is temperature. The effect is temperature and heat is cause. So thank you friends. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class. So thank you.